Welcome to another JournalNow.com High School Football Video, Coach's Clipboard Edition. I'm Joe Serrera, joined this morning by North Davidson Head Coach Brian Flynn. Brian, thank you so much for joining us. Joe, thanks for having me. Your Black Knights are one and four, or got off to an 0 and three start this year. One and four, now two and four. Very similar to last season, it seems like. I know a, a big function of that is the brutal schedule. You guys play a lot of 4A power teams. What's similar and kind of what's different about last year's start and this year's start? Last year, he went on a run of seven wins in a row and deep into the playoffs. Yeah, uh, of, of course, you know, having that formula last year, Joe, we want to kind of mimic that this year. You know, who wouldn't right. uh, as we get into conference play and, in, and into the playoffs? But, um, you know, I think the biggest difference is uh, even despite all the adversity uh, that, that this team has uh, uh, dealt with, um, we've been much more competitive in those losses than we were last year. I think that was the biggest disappointment um, uh, about last year was the the more of the the basically uh, kind of getting blown out of the ball game at the end of the day. Right. Um, we were in a much better uh, uh, shape uh, going into fourth quarters with these games, with three of them having a chance to win, in my opinion. Um, but again, that's a whole nother story where we got to learn how to finish football games. But um, a lot of similarities, but yet some differences compared to last year. Yeah, I mean, I was at that Reagan game to start the season, and and you, you know you, you can't can't quite convert a fourth down play where you're driving for what would have been a go ahead score late in the game. I mean, you were that that close, uh, you know, and that's a very good Reagan football team. What what's gone well for this team so far? And what do you still want to work on? Well, what, what's going well is that, uh, like I said, our, our, our competitiveness, uh, being able to, uh, um, uh, you know, compete at the highest level, in my opinion. But and also at the same time, you know, we've had a showed a lot of fight, a lot of grit, again, with the adversity that we have uh, uh, faced on and off the field. Um, you know, I'm really, really proud of, uh, you, you know, seeing that throughout uh, our team and, of course, in our locker room with our seniors. Of course, it starts there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, improving-wise, uh, you know, I, it's good that we have not hit our hit our peak. And right. um, I really think that we still can play a lot better than we have. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whether it's just shooting ourselves in the foot, Joe. Um, you know, we talk about it all the time in our team meetings, especially on, on Mondays as we head into the week, is, um, you know, we're kind of our, our, our own worst enemy. At times, um, you know, we, we talk about where we, we need to worry about North Davidson, nothing against our opponent. Right. By no means. But, uh, you know, we're, we're kind of our, war, our own worst enemy at times. So, yeah, uh, we, we got to continue to improve on that. And we have here lately, to be honest with you, uh, compared to earlier in the year. You talked about the seniors and, and, and what they're giving you in the locker room. One, one guy who's certainly stood out on the field is the senior running back, Savion Hayes. Two, two of the teams that you've gone against, their coaches both told me <clears throat> that they think he's the best running back they'll see all season. Uh, it seems like when I've seen him, he's even, even more of a complete back than he was last year. He's, he's a threat as a receiver, blocking, running. It seems like he, he does an awful lot of things well for you guys. Yeah, he does, Joe. Um, you know, he's a very special, dynamic player. He has, uh, you know, watching film from last year as we heading into these, uh, as we were watching these opponents, we like to look at last year a lot. It's just almost night and day, <clears throat> excuse me, to be honest, compared to last year. Uh, uh, very, very more explosive. Um, his vision is much better. Um, but, you know, we have to also have to give a lot of credit. Our offensive line is playing very well. Mm -hmm. um, those guys on the edge, those receivers are blocking very well for him and creating those uh, TD springing blocks. Um, you know, there's a lot of unselfishness in there because we have a lot of playmakers. And um, I've been really proud of how uh, th those guys have handled – they really don't care as long as uh, as we're getting in the end zone. Mm -hmm. Who are some of the other guys you, you want to highlight on this team? Well, of course, uh, sticking offensively, of course, with Gavin, he's playing a lot better at quarterback. Um, uh, you know, we'll be honest and struggled a little bit early on. Mm -hmm. uh, but he has uh, 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 definitely played a lot better here lately. Of course, I've got Reed Nisley, who on both sides of the ball is just Mr. Reliable. Like I said, he, he draws the bus to our away games. He does it all. Um, you know, defensively, our D-line up front with Abraham Garcia, uh, uh, Austin White, Tevin Gray, those guys, they're playing really, really, really well. So 
um, you know, we got to uh, some get some other guys to step up, and I know they will as we uh, continue this conference run. You mentioned the conference that this is obviously a very tough conference. Uh, you've got Ledford at 6-0. and Central Davidson's only loss is to Ledford, and that was a tight game. And then there's the team you're playing this week, Oak Grove, a team you're very familiar with, obviously. They're 6-0. and uh, How tough is this conference? Yeah, it's extremely tough, Joe. Uh, you, you know, the, you just mentioned all those schools. And, uh, um, you know, we played Montgomery Central and the score don't, it doesn't indi indicate that. But Coach Metzger, is, they're, they're again, they're night and day compared to last year. Mm -hmm. They're much better improved. Um, and you're talking about one of the best facilities in the state, Joe. We, I know it's in the middle of nowhere, but um, uh, turf field, big old jumbotron. They're doing it right over there in Montgomery, uh, Montgomery County. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it is it, it, it is a tough one. You know, uh, of course, we have a tough one this Friday. Um, then we have to go on the road to Asheboro. Then we got two tough in a row with Central and, and Ledford. And there's just so much diversity. It's just a different type of things that we're going to see both – off the offensive, uh, offensively, mm -hmm. uh, that you have to prepare for, and then of course defensively. So, um, it, it, it's a tough five uh, game stretch for our, for all these schools in in this, in this conference. Yeah, the different looks you see, that's got to be great in terms of preparing you guys for the playoffs because you, you don't know what you're going to see in the playoffs. And if you if you've seen a lot of these things already, it's got to it's got to make that playoff run a little easier for you in terms of, of preparation. Yeah, it really does. Uh, you know, it really does. See, seeing all types of diverse offense and defenses, it helps you out as you as you go into that playoff stretch, for sure. This week, Oak Grove, uh, that's pretty much all I need to say about that. You guys are familiar with them. They're familiar with you. A 27-24 overtime win for you guys last year that really seemed to kind of kind of bring everything together and give you guys momentum for the rest of that run. What do you remember about that game? Um, probably the first thing that I remember so uh, that jumps to my mind, of course, is jumping out 14 nothing, mm -hmm. and then stinking it up offensively in the second half. Uh, we came so stagnant and, uh, you know, we're watching that film as a staff uh, as we prepare for this week. And it's just like we're telling, talking to ourselves uh, 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 as an offensive staff, like, what are we doing? Um, so, uh, you know, you, when you jump off, jump off uh, up against someone 14 nothing, we got to do a better job of continuing having, uh, you know, I know it's a coach's cliche, but the gas pedal stays down. Um, mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, what a game that was. Uh, kudos to them for coming back, of course, and then taking it in overtime. But, you know, it was a, a roller coaster of emotions uh, last year for sure. What do you see from this year's Oak Grove team? Is, is this the best team Coach Holcomb's had since he's been there? Um, I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to get into that to debate that that's for him to, to, to debate. And I'll talk um, to him about that. So, right. Yeah. And, I mean, he's probably not going to want to talk about it. Right. Right. I mean, at the end of the day, they're, they're a solid bunch. Now, I, I can always say that against his, uh, with his teams, they're going to mm -hmm. do a good job of preparing for them. They're well coached. They're disciplined. Um, that that's half the battle right there. They're going right. to play hard. So that's, that's three quarters of the battle. The rest of it's execution. And so um, they're, they're a really solid team, Joe. You mentioned execution. What do you guys need to do Friday night in terms of execution to, to get it? What would be a huge win in the conference? Well, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you know, offensively, of course, um, I, I don't think it's a secret. Everybody wants to stop number 11. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I, I would imagine that's their plan. And, you know, we got to make sure that we adjust, have those in-game adjustments and execute those in-game adjustments uh, from that. And, of course, on the flip side, you know, defensively, we got to execute. Uh, my, the biggest thing that comes to my mind is executing of uh, keeping that quarterback contained because he does a good job of uh, extending plays and getting out of the pocket, which scares you. Well, it should be a great matchup. Anyone who wants to see a fantastic rivalry game and a great football game Friday night, North Davidson High School is a place to be for the matchup with Oak Grove. Thank you for uh, joining us, and good luck in that game and going forward. Thanks again, Joe. Appreciate it.